Jennifer is not going to tell us what to expect at Knight Foundation over the next uh, several years. Um, um, what did oh, yeah? Well, you know, we're talking 10-year things. Do we have several years? Um, and we should do something. So thank you to the Paley Center for having us here so much. Thank you to the winner. Congratulations to the eight winners. Uh, <laughs> do you want to mention, do you want to mention news and the yes, commission? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, hi, so uh, two things that we have um, happening right now uh, that I'd like to tell everyone about. Um, one, right now, um, we have Newsmatch in the field. Hashtag Newsmatch. Um, Newsmatch is a matching gifts program that Knight Foundation, joining with the MacArthur Foundation and Democracy Fund, put together this year. It's a $3 million fund for non for, non for not for profit news organizations, more than a hundred not for profit news organizations around the country. So, the idea behind Newsmatch is to help these not for profit news organizations with their end of the year campaigns. So, uh, so this not for profit news fund provides uh, a matching gift up to $1,000 for every contribution to nonprofit news around the country. And this campaign is running through the end of the year. You just need to go to newsmatch.org. We've made it very simple. And you can pick which one or all of the more than 100 <laughs> not-for-profit news organizations you would like to support uh, this um, holiday season in season of giving in 2017. And uh, so please give. And uh, please share, please use the hashtag Newsmatch so we can bring more awareness around the country about the value and importance um, of journalism and of the great work that nonprofit uh, news outlets around the country um, are, are making. The other thing I, I wanted to share with all of you, and my goodness, so many of the conversations today uh, will so inform the work, and that is work that will uh, that is being led by Tony Marks, uh, President and CEO of the New York Public Library, and Jamie Woodson, who is a former uh, Tennessee lawmaker who now runs an education advocacy organization in Tennessee. So both Tony and Jamie Woodson are leading the Knight Commission on Trust, Media, and Democracy. In the aftermath of quite a divisive presidential election um, at Knight Foundation, we said, OK, there are a lot of questions that have been raised uh, in the last year, and how might we go about uh, helping address them, helping answer them? So one of the things that we did, as many of you know, is we went into the field right away with John's incredible uh, team and launched a prototype challenge. We got more than 800 entries and more than two dozen projects uh, that were funded to help address the questions and concerns about uh, misinformation and disinformation and, and how to make sure that there's more accurate information. And more importantly, it's not about supply, it's about demand. What can we do to make sure that people want to access uh, quality news and, and information. So another thing that we did was we went into the field with a very ambitious research agenda. You're going to be hearing more about that uh, later. And working with the Aspen Institute, we launched the Knight Commission on Trust, Media, and Democracy, which I just mentioned that Tony and Jamie Woodson are, leaving, are leading with, I hope you're not leaving, <laughs> Thank you. With uh, more than two dozen experts um, around the country. And uh, the Aspen Institute has commissioned uh, some really terrific white papers, one of them um, by Ethan Zuckerman, which I'm going to tweet out the link using the hashtag news challenge on trust. And I have to tell you, it, uh, it's a must read. It's a compelling read. It really, Ethan's work really provided for me and so many other commission members context around the issue about trust and the decline of trust in the news media. Because guess what, folks? Other than libraries, all other democratic institutions are down in the basement when it comes to trust as well. So, uh, so 
Ethan's paper really just provides very important context about where we are with trust in democratic institutions overall. But what I also loved about Ethan's paper is that it also outlined some very hopeful trends about the internet um, and, and where can we find those hopeful trends by looking at the way that young people are really using um, the internet and the web and social for, for civic engagement along with all of those other um, not so um, nice things. So those are just two major initiatives that, um, that we have going um, right now that I wanted all of you to know about. Uh, there's one other thing that I just wanted to do. So uh, John Bracken and I are both baseball fans in the seventh inning, and we're in the seventh inning right now. We would stand up and stretch. So I'm inviting everyone to stand up and stretch, and I want a loud round of applause for my colleague, John Bracken, his last day is tomorrow. Oh, you saw it. So, thank you. I, well, you saw that. We were going to do the thank you. I want to, um, thank you. Okay. The News Challenge has been around for 10 years. The News Challenge has been around for 10 years, and seven of those 10 years has been with Mr. Bracken. Awesome job. Well, I, thank you. And thanks to the Knight staff for pulling up together this event. I want to give a particular shout out to Hallie Atkins, who's back there, who you see Woo! running around. Hallie, not just coordinated, but when we originally conceived of this idea, we said, oh, we'll come, we'll talk about the news challenge. Hallie's like, that's a terrible idea. The program I, you drafted, John, is stupid. No one's going to come to it. <laughs> Rethink it. So we went back, we rethought it. And so if Hallie hadn't pushed us, uh, we wouldn't have had this great agenda of people talking today. So thank you all so much. And thank you, Hallie. And thanks for everyone at Paley and Knight for pulling this together. So John, tell everyone where you're going. You're going to a trusted institution. I am. I'm going to yes. go actually be working with a, uh, a previous Knight News Challenge winner called the Digital Public Library of America. Uh, yeah. And some of my new colleagues are here. So you can meet Michelle and Mauricio at the reception. Yep. So. so that means we'll be working very closely. Thank you all. Thanks.